All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And for those just tuning in, welcome to game number three, the broadcast of game number three between the St. Andrews Highlanders and the Spartans of St. Stephen's. My name is AJ Revlo. I'm live here at Nazro Hall bringing you all the action as these two schools have had five basketball games so far. Uh, three, were scheduled, three are scheduled today. Our third about to be underway. Three were scheduled yesterday. Spartans leading as far as overall as the first win for the Highlanders came on this last game. Where they defeated the Spartans 47-3. to But aside from that, it's been all Spartans for these last few games. This one, our final one of this showdown, if you will, frenemies. I believe was a good term that was used between these two schools. It's going to be between the 8th grade boys Spartan basketball team and the 1A boys Highlander basketball team. Now, a couple of sports going on, a couple of the streams for you, for those who have not tuned in yet. Lacrosse is going on over at Denny's Field. The Spartans are taking on Cedar Ridge. And it's in the fourth right now. Spartans are leading. 11 to 3 with about nine minutes left. So that was a good one going on there. If you'd like to tune in, be sure to uh, go check it out. If not, stick around with me. I enjoy having you all here as both teams are making their way out onto the court. Two 20 minute halves is what we have set up for you. Not quarters, but halves. As we're going to be underway. For the Highlanders, we got Luke Dial, David Delacy, Aiden Key, Aiden Weinheimer, and one more, and I can't get his number because he's turned sideways as the tip off is going to go the way of the Spartans. That last is going to be Kyle Vandergriff. Spartans win the tip off here. For the Spartans, we've got. Dean Jones, Gabe Sahili, Sahili, Daryl Houston Blaylock, who just drove towards the basket. And draw on the foul. Charlie Dugan and Graham Bowles. Spartans with it. That one's going to get tipped on the throw and it's going to be recovered by Jones. As Jones works over to Blaylock. Back to Jones. Excuse me, back to Dugan. Dugan going to make a move. Nope, going to Blaylock. Blaylock going to make a move. Nice first step. And that one's going to go up for a shot. Not going to happen as Aiden Key with a big block. And the Highlanders turn around. Baldwin with it. That shot goes up. Basil Baldwin. Oh, sorry. Got my face. It says dial. Blaylock going to dump it outside. Taking a big three. He's Delacy. Rebound. It's going to go to Key. Key. Going to lose that one, but able to recover it. As Dugan got a hand in there. That time, though, Spartans get a steal as Dean Jones comes away with it. Jones, very dangerously close to a backcourt violation. With Dial, with some nice defense. Around the perimeter we go. Dugan shooting three off the rim. Blaylock with the rebound. Going up for the shot. Able to draw the foul as that goes against Weinheimer. And Blaylock will head to the charity line, shooting two. Still scoreless here in the first half. Blaylock unable to sink the first one. It bounces off the rim. As a quick substitution, Weinheimer's going to make his way off. Howard going to make his way on for the Highlanders. I believe that was the second call against Weinheimer. That's why he came off a little early. And the second one, Bullock, doesn't go in. Rebound, Vandergriff. As he dumps it off quickly to Key. And the Highlanders are on the move. Dial. Making a quick move around the edge, going for the layup. And they're going to say it was not a shooting foul, so that one's going to just reset. Possession will stay with the Highlanders. 
As Dial looks to toss this one in. Dial getting that one off to Vandergriff. Vandergriff back up top to Dial. Vandergriff. He's got key to his left. Vandergriff going to take it himself. Quick stop, taking the shot, and he sinks that one. And the Highlanders get on the board first as they go up two to nothing. Spartans with it now. Blaylock making a quick move inside as he goes in. He's going to get fouled. They're going to toss that one against David Delisi. As he got his hand in there on that drive in by Blaylock. Dugan up top. Bowles. Bowles taking a three off the rim. Rebound. Vandergriff. And Vandergriff is going to turn and flip and get a quick pass off the dial. Dial going to go up for a layup. And that will be a shooting foul. It looks like they're going to give that one to Sahili. Either way, Luke Dial will head to the charity line shooting two with 16 minutes here left in the first half. Highlanders trying to extend this 2-0 lead. First one doesn't quite get the drop he needs. Blaylock and Dugan under the net. And he's able to sink that second one, and the Spartans get on the board. Still trolling by one, though. Oh, excuse me, the Highlanders extend their lead. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> to 3 nothing. Quick pass outside. Going for the quick shot is Jones. Rebound. It's going to go to Howard. Fix that here. Dial with a three-point shot. He sinks that one. And the Highlanders go up 6-0 here in the first. Blaylock thinking about making a move. Not going to do it. Over to Dugan. Dugan making a quick move inside. Here's the pass. Foul is going to be drawn against Key. And that will be a shooting foul for Dugan. So he'll head to the charity line shooting two. First one off the left-hand side for Dugan. He'll get one more here. And he sinks the second. And now the Spartans are on the board. As they still trail six to one. Dial. Looks like they're going to give that one to Dean Jones. As four players sway for the Spartans. New crew in, Dial. Pass up top to Key. Key trying to make a quick step. And he's going to get called for traveling on that one. Nice defensive play by Basil Baldwin. Dugan. Tossing it to Walter Lee, who's out on the court now for the Spartans. Lee dumps it off to Matson. Matson takes a shot, doesn't go in. Trying to go for the rebound it was Bauer Lloyd. Unable to get to it, though. It goes out of bounds. Possession will be with the Highlanders. Quick pass over to Dial. Full court press for the Spartans. Dial able to get around it, though. Pass inside is complete. Nice job to Delacy. Delacy looking for some help. Pass outside, Johnson, and Johnson sinking the three from downtown for the Highlanders. Dugan, over the top, trying to get it to Baldwin. A little too high, though. And Spartans are going to call a timeout here with 12.51 left in the first half. Highlanders with a 9-1 lead. So remember, folks, as far as lacrosse goes, there is a boys lacrosse game taking place right now at Denny's Field as the Spartans are taking on Cedar Ridge. 
Big hello to Mr. Randy Fry, who says everything sounds great and we're looking great. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast along with everyone else. Tomorrow, I believe it's the St. Andrews girls lacrosse team. We'll have a matchup starting at 5 o'clock, which you can catch here on the Vibe Live Network. It is a lacrosse game tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Oh, play resuming. Sorry about that. Dial with it now at the top of the arc. Pass over to Key on the far right. Shooting the three, and Key's going to sink the three-point shot to extend his Highlander lead. As that pass is tipped and stolen by Key, he's going to take it himself, and he'll draw the foul as Dugan got up. It looked like he got nothing but ball on that one, but they're going to call it on Dugan anyway. As Aiden Key will head to the charity line, he'll be shooting too. First one goes in for Key. Second one doesn't get the roll. He needs rebound. Going to go to the Spartans as Basil Baldwin was able to get up there and take that one away. Matson now inside the paint. Back out to Dugan. Dugan for three. And Dugan, Charlie Dugan, is going to sink that one for the Spartans. Highlanders with it in the paint. David Delacy. He's going to draw the foul. He'll head to the charity line. He'll be shooting two. First one, a little wide left. And he'll get one more. 10.45 here left in the first half. Our score is 13 to 4. Highlanders with the lead. As Key makes his way off. And Marcos Erlinson. Is that on the court? Second one. Doesn't go where he wants. Dugan with the rebound. Dugan coming up, making a quick move inside. Going for himself. Off the backboard, not going to go in. Delacy with the rebound, gets it over to Dial, and Dial now flipping the court, moving quick. Back to Delacy, back to Dial. Dial going to shoot a three off the back of the rim. Dugan with the rebound for the Spartans. Dugan dumps it over to Lloyd. Lloyd going to take a shot inside the paint, and Lloyd's going to sink that one. As the Spartans are playing catch up. Roland Sims in, tossing that one over to Dial. Dial, back to Sims. Sims, looking for some help. Erlinson, Erlinson, Delisi, Erlinson, Erlinson, trying to make a move. That one's going to get tipped. As Matson got a hand in there, and Matson's going to come up with a steal over to Dugan. Dugan off the backboard, doesn't go in. Rebound, Lloyd, and Lloyd with the follow up after the rebound. Puts another one up for the Spartans. Spartans on a 7-0 run right now. Delacy trying to break that as it was a clean block at first and another Spartan came in after the fact to draw that secondary foul there. Well, that foul, not secondary, but you know what I mean. Delacy will be heading to the charity line. He'll be shooting two. Again, Spartans on a 7-0 run so far. And first one hits the back of the rim. Doesn't quite go in. And the Spartans making a mass substitution again. As four come on and four make their way off.
David DeLacy shooting his second. Off the rim, rebound. Going to go to the Spartans as Dean Jones is able to get to it. Jones here on the right. Over to Blaylock. Blaylock looking to make a move. Takes it in the paint, tosses it up, draws the foul. Doesn't get the basket, though. And that one is going to go against Marcos Erlinson. As Daryl Houston Blaylock will head to the charity line. First one for Blaylock. He gets a nice roll off the front of the rim and sinks that one as Aiden Key makes his way in for David DeLisi. Blaylock. And sinks the second with ease. It's a 9-0 run now for the Spartans as they've shrunk this lead for the Highlanders to just three. And Erlinson going in. He's going to draw the foul. I didn't see who they called that one on, but possession would just stay with the Highlanders. Erlinson looking to bring this in from the side. I take that back. I'll have Erlison shoot two. Or a one and one, excuse me. As Erlinson sinks the first. As he stops the bleeding momentarily for the Highlanders. And Marcos Erlinson batting a thousand. He sinks that second free throw. Highlanders, 15-10 lead with six minutes here left in the first half. Blaylock making a quick move inside, throwing it up, not going to go down. Rebound, Weinheimer. And it looks like uh, Blaylock is going to get called for that foul. Weinheimer. Shooting a one and one. Weinheimer getting the roll on that one off the front of the rim. And gets the roll on the second as well. To extend the Highlander lead. Blaylock with it now for the Spartans. Gets it over to Sahili. Sahili trying to take a shot, doesn't do it. Blaylock trying to come away with it. They're going to call jump ball for the tie-up. Highlanders will take possession as some subs come in for the Spartans. Key bringing this one into Weinheimer. Around the perimeter, Erlinson with it, going to take it inside the paint himself, going for the quick shot, doesn't go in. Dugan with the rebound as Dugan moves quick, and he's going to have to slow it down as Cooper Johnson was in some nice coverage there on the breakaway. Good pass to Sahili. Sahili looking for some help. Back up top to Bowles. Bowles, nice spin move. Not going to make it in, though, and Erlinson with the rebound gets it over to Key. Key up top. And Johnson is going to go up with the shot for the Highlanders. That one's going to be tipped by Erlinson, stolen by Weinheimer. Erlinson going to get it on the breakaway, and he'll sink that one on the layup. Does it look like Walder Lee was looking for a foul on that one? Dugan taking it to the paint, taking the basket himself, excuse me. And Dugan gets that one. Weinheimer, top of the arc. Dugan in coverage. Weinheimer trying to go around, and they're going to call that one on Dugan. Oh, excuse me. No, they're going to give that one to Graham Bowles. As Aiden Weinheimer will head to the charity line, he'll be shooting too. Well, 
First one. Not going to go in for Weinheimer as more mass substitutions now, but this time for the Highlanders. As three come off, three make their way on. Weinheimer. Second one off the left-hand side of the rim. Rebound, though, going to go the way of Vandergriff and the Highlanders. Weinheimer pass over the top. Complete back up to Weinheimer. Weinheimer going to take the shot off the rim. Rebound. Vandergriff. Vandergriff getting tied up. Dow trying to come up to help. Not going to happen. Dugan with the steal. And Dugan going to draw the foul. And that one's going to go against Weinheimer. As Dugan will head to the charity line, shooting two. Dugan trying to shrink this Highlander lead. Doesn't get the roll on that one. Falls just a bit short. And that one goes in for Dugan as he sinks the second shot. Highlanders on the turn. Dial. At the top, quick pass to Lisi. Gets it over to Vandergriff. Vandergriff back up top to Dial. Vandergriff looking for some help. Lots of coverage. Gets it over to Delisi. Back to Dial. And we're going to need a quick reset. Nope. Quick shot by Delisi from the three. Not going to go in. Rebound. And it's going to go the way of the Highlanders as Delisi gets in there. Comes down with it. That one's going to get knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Highlanders. Dial trying to get that one in. He gets knocked back out of bounds by Graham Bowles. As Bowles got his hand on it and knocked it away. Dial looking for some help. Pass over is complete. He's able to get it to Delisi. Gets it back over to Dial at the top. Going for the layup. Not going to go in. Rebound. Will go the way of the Highlanders. Pass up top, Delisi. Over to Vandergriff. Vandergriff to Dial. Howard with it now. Up top to Delisi. Over to Dial. Dial making a quick first step, trying to go for the layup. Can't get the shot off though. It gets blocked and recovered by the Spartans. With 22 seconds left, Bowles, Dugan, Dugan sees an opening, stops, floater, not going to go in, rebound. He's going to go the way of the Spartans. And as Basil Baldwin was able to get up there and get a handle of it, and he drew the foul. So Basil Baldwin will head to the charity line. He'll be shooting a one and one. Doesn't get the first one. Nice box out by Delisi and the Highlanders as they come away with that rebound. Dial with it now. Over to Vandergriff. Vandergriff inside to Howard. That's going to get tipped by Bowles and stolen by the. Spartans and unable to get a shot off as the buzzer expired. And that'll do it for us. One half down, one more to go. Highlanders with a 21-13 lead over the St. Stephen Spartans. We're going to take a quick five-minute break for the half, folks. So, like always, get yourself something to drink. Get yourself something to eat. But we'll be right back. You're listening to Highlander and Spartan Basketball right here on Vibe Live.
right, folks. Well, halftime. Wrapping itself up here at Nazro Hall. Highlanders with a 21-13 lead over the St. Stephen Spartans. And the Spartans with one more 20-minute half to try and catch up and take that lead back. A.J. Revlo here bringing you all the action live. As we have game three underway of this afternoon's triple header. Excuse me, I had to sneeze there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Game one, girls 2A went the way of the Spartans, 45 to 11. Girls 1A went the way of the Highlanders, 47 to three. And this is gonna be the deciding game for today. Last night, the boys teams, all three of them played, and all three went the way of the Spartans. 48 to three was the first one, the 3A boys matchup. The 2A white team versus the silver team for the Spartans. Our Spartans came away 22-21. <laughs> On a very nice end of game play with the Highlanders an opportunity to tie it. Unable to sink the free throw. And then the final game last night, the boys blew 2A versus the St. Stephen's purple team. Purple team came up 33-20, which brings us now here to game three. This one for all the marbles, if you will, for today. As our second half is underway, Blaylock with it. Quick pass over the top and a quick shot by Sahili. Doesn't go in. Rebound. Highlanders. Dial going up. Dugan with a nice block over Dial on the layup. And they're going to say Dial stepped out of bounds trying to recover that one. Dugan getting his big paw up there and getting the block. Martins, Blaylock, trying to get a quick pass off, and it was partially blocked to Sahili, but he gets it. And taking the shot, not, oh no, Graham Bowles takes a shot, it goes in, hits the back of the rim and bounces out. As the Highlanders come away with the rebound, Key with it. So Vandergriff, Vandergriff inside, makes it to Dow as it gets it right by Dugan. And they're gonna call that one on Looks like Andrew Matson, which means Luke Dial will head to the charity line. He'll be shooting two. And the first one goes in for Dial to score the first points of the second half. As does the second. And the Highlanders extend their lead. Blaylock, Weinheimer in coverage. Blaylock trying to make a quick move inside, he does. That's gonna be blocked by Key and taken away by the Highlanders as Weinheimer gets it and brings everybody over. Pass over to Dial, Dial trying to make a quick first step. Spartan's not gonna bite on it, and Delisi inside the Dial. Dial going for the layup and Dial sinks the layup on a pass from Delisi. Excuse me, that was Vandergriff. I apologize. Vandergriff on the pass. Blaylock. Sahili. Sahili. Dugan. Dugan. Pass outside to Blaylock. Blaylock for three. Nobody in front of him. Off the rim. Dial with the rebound. And trying to make a quick break with Blaylock getting in front. But his pass completed to Vandergriff. And Vandergriff goes up and hits the layup on the breakaway. Blaylock now. Coming across for the Spartans. Move inside, nice moves, and he's able to sink that layup for the Spartans' first points here in the second half. Dial with it now. Up to Key. Key. Weinheimer inside to Vandergriff, and Vandergriff's gonna be fouled immediately. And they're gonna give that one to Charlie Dugan. And the substitutions are coming in for the Spartans. Not a shooting foul though, so Highlanders will maintain possession as Dial calls a play. There's that pass inside. Delisi with the layup in the paint for the Highlanders. And Blaylock with it now. Behind the back, 
dribble. He comes around, throws it up, not going to go in there. And Weinheimer trying to come with it, can't do it. Blaylock ends up with it. Second shot doesn't win. Weinheimer with the rebound. As he passes quick, and there's a collision there. Able to come down with his Vandergriff. Vandergriff going up inside. He's going to lose it. In the paint, comes up with it. Outside the key. Key for three. Off the rim, and Key gets his own rebound. Comes into the paint himself with a layup. Almost sinking that one for the and one. Instead, though, he draws the foul, and he'll head to the charity line. He'll be shooting two. First one doesn't quite go in. For Key, 29 to 15 is the score. Highlanders over the Spartans, 15 40 here left in the second half. And Key able to sink the second for the Highlanders. Blaylock in the paint, decides to back up, dumps off to Dugan. Dugan for three, and Dugan hits the three pointer. As the Spartans are inching their way closer, Dial getting it but almost losing it, able to recover. Rebound going the way of Lloyd. Bauer Lloyd on it for the Spartans. And Lloyd, no look past the Blaylock going up, and he's going to draw the foul from Key. And Blaylock will head to the charity line shooting two. Laylock with the first one, sinks it with ease. And sinks the second as the Spartans pull within 12. Weinheimer. Top of the perimeter, pass is going to be tipped as Lee got his head in there. Dugan with the steal off the tip pass. Laylock on the far right side, making a move inside. Under the net, going for a reverse layup, and he hits it. As this lead is shrinking for the Highlanders, Dial. Back and forth, trying to get around Blaylock. Dump pass to Key. Miscommunication, not able to get to it. Dugan comes away with the steal. It goes up for the easy layup. And timeout is going to be called by Coach Moore and the Highlanders as they've got to stop the bleeding as their lead has been cut to just six, and the Spartans are on fire here with 13.44 left in the second half. His whistle's blown. Both teams make their way back out onto the court. Spartans with the momentum here. Highlanders with possession. As Weinheimer gets it over to Dial. Weinheimer all the way across. Dial unable to get to it. Out of bounds. Nice defense by the Spartans forcing the errant pass. And that's going to be a turnover as Blaylock brings the troops across half court. Dugan, nice screen over the top. Not going to get to it. They're going to go left instead as he's got Lloyd. Lloyd back to Dugan. Dugan coming up. Pass outside. Lee going to take the shot off the rim, off the back of the backboard. It's going to go out of bounds. Turnover will go to the Highlanders. Key in the dial. Dial. Making some quick moves. Howard ends up getting it. He dumps it off quickly to Sahili. Over to Key. Key with the layup. 
And that goes in for the Highlanders. Blaylock going to take it himself into the paint. It's going to roll its way out, and Weinheimer with a defensive rebound. And Dugan coming from behind to poke that one loose for the Spartans. As he's going to slow it down and let everybody catch up now. Dugan. That's over the top. Three-point shot for Lloyd. Doesn't go in, but Dugan trying to come with the rebound. He's going to touch it last. It'll go out of bounds, and possession will switch over to the Highlanders as both teams make some substitutions here. Dial. Over to Lee. Lee. Pass up top to Delisi. Delisi. Back up to Lee. And that's going to be stolen by Blaylock. Blaylock going for the easy layup for the Spartans. As they score again. Weinheimer to Dial. That one is going to be around. Weinheimer for three. Not going to go in. Rebound Baldwin. And the Spartans on the move. Lloyd trying to go up. Not going to go in. Rebound. Howard. Dial with it now here on the left-hand side. And Dial. One too many steps. He'll get called for the travel as more substitutions are going to be made for both teams. Spartans are with possession, though. As Bowles. Comes over and tosses it over to Blaylock. With 11 minutes now left in the game. Six point lead for the Highlanders. Quick pass over to Bowles. He's able to recover as he misses it initially. Dumps over to Sahili. Sahili to Lloyd. Lloyd going to take a shot of deep two off the rim. Rebound. Going to go the way of the Highlanders. As Erlinson was able to get to it. Dial covered immediately. Trying to work his way around the defender. He's going to draw the foul. And they're going to give that one to Sahili. Vandergriff is going to make his way in for Johnson. Pass up top is going to be stolen by Blaylock as he was reading it the whole way. Blaylock with a spin, a toss up. Doesn't get the roll he needs. Rebound Erlinson. And Erlison gets it over to Dial on the left side. Dial getting chased out from behind by Blaylock. Blaylock able to knock it loose and knock it out of bounds. Possession will stay with the Highlanders. Delisi. Gets it over to Erlison. Erlison thinking about the three. Gets around. Inside pass to Delisi. Delisi going for the layup. Doesn't go in. Rebound. It's going to go to Lloyd. Lloyd. Jumps it over to Blaylock. Blaylock, deep pass is complete to Sahili. Sahili going to take it in himself for the layup and sinks it. And, folks, we got a new game here as Highlanders have their lead shrunk down to 32 to 28. Four points as Erlinson is able to draw that one from Sahili. Highlanders will maintain possession as it wasn't a shooting foul. And they're not in the bonus yet. Erlinson up top. Weinheimer. Weinheimer. Trying to get around Blaylock. Pass to Vandergriff over to Dial. Dial making a quick move. Shooting it. And gets the bounce and the roll. As the Highlanders temporarily put some points up. Blaylock with it. Quick back step, fadeaway shot, and doesn't get the roll he needs. Rebound. Erlinson as he comes up with it. With Bowles. And aggressive coverage. He decides to back off. Weinheimer inside the Delisi. Delisi back to Weinheimer. Weinheimer for three. Rebound. Lloyd. And Bauer Lloyd and the Spartans are coming back. Spin move, shooting that one off the rim. Rebound to Lisi, gives it to Dial. As Dial. So Weinheimer back to Dial. Splits two defenders, takes a shot, and gets another. Talk about some lucky bounces there. That hits the rim and bounces straight up and straight down through the net. 
Pass to Meet Sahili. Sahili with a floating two, and he sinks that one himself as the Spartans are going to call a timeout. With 7.45 here left in the second half, our score is the Highlanders 36, Spartans 30. And boy, do we have a close one. So for all you Highlander fans, be sure to tune in as we've got some girls lacrosse at 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. tomorrow with Mr. Merle Bertrand himself possibly calling the game. I give him a hard time. He's a he's an all-sport butt lacrosse. That's a that's a difficult sport to, to provide play-by-play. -play. And he might try. We'll, we'll see what he does. It, it may be better without the play-by-play, -play, but we'll see. We'll see. As the Highlanders have possession here to break the timeout, Erlinson toss it in the dial. Dial. Full court press by the Spartans. Oh, back to Erlinson. Erlinson over to dial. And inside the key. Key up top to Weinheimer taking the shot. Not going to go in. Rebound. Going to Bowles. As Bowles dumps it off to Blaylock. On the right, Blaylock. Golden himself for the easy basket in the paint. Key, back to Dial, back to Weinheimer. Weinheimer taking it himself and I missed that one. It's gonna go against the Spartans. There's a quick substitution as Dugan makes his way back in. Matson makes his way out. And Will Delisi makes his way in, Erlinson makes his way out, so. Quick pass for, uh, to Key in the paint. Key tosses it up and gets the rolling basket in the paint for the Highlanders. As Blaylock looks to bring everybody across over to Dugan. Dugan. Lloyd back to Dugan. Dugan. Sahili. Sahili with a nice spin. Takes an extra step as he spun, though. And that'll be traveling. Highlanders with possession as Weinheimer. Looking for some help. Gets it over to Key, who dumps it off to Dial on the left-hand side. Blaylock, step for step with him, though. Back over to Key. Key in the paint. Tossing it up. He's able to draw the foul. I don't think that was a shooting foul, though. It is good. It is going to be a shooting foul, so Key will set up shooting two. First one off the back of the rim, no good. As the Spartans have Sahili on the opposite side of the court, waiting for the pass now on the le top left, if you're looking. Delisi in coverage as well as Dial. Key hits the second, though. And Highlanders extend their lead to seven. Pass over the top is complete. And taking the shot, Sahili not going to go in. Rebound, Dial. And Dial, double coverage by Sahili and Blaylock, able to get around in. One more to beat, and he gets around one more. Decides to pass outside. He's going to be tipped and almost stolen as Vandergriff was able to recover. And they're going to call that one against Sahili. Actually, I apologize. They didn't call a foul. They're going to call a tie-up, a jump ball on that one. So Highlanders with the advantage. They'll have still possession. Pass up top is complete. Big deep pass over to Johnson. And Weinheimer taking the shot. Not going to go in. Rebound Dugan as the Highlanders couldn't capitalize on that one. And a traveling call on Dugan. So possession will switch over. Spartans making some substitutions. As it looks like Bauer, Lloyd, and Dean Jones are going to make their way in. Weinheimer to Key to Johnson. Johnson and Blaylock coming from behind. He's able to poke that one loose. Steal a little Lloyd. Lloyd 
in the paint himself. Pass outside is complete. Man, taking the shot. Not going to go in. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. It was going to be number 10, Jones. And instead, right here on the net, Johnson going for the layup. He's able to draw the foul. And I believe the Spartans. Yep, Spartans are going to call a timeout. Here with 342 left in the second half. Our score is 39 to 32. As our whistle is blown, 39-32 is your score. Highlanders with a seven-point lead, 342 here left in the second half as both teams make their way back out onto the court. Nate Howard, Aiden Key, Cooper Johnson, Aiden Weinheimer, and Luke Dial out for the Highlanders. For your Spartans, Charlie Dugan, Daryl Houston Blaylock, Graham Bowles, Bauer Lloyd, and one more, Dean Jones, as the first shot goes up off the back of the rim, not going to get the drop he needs, as Johnson misses the first. And missing the second, big tip up, Johnson will come with the rebound over to Key quickly, and that one doesn't quite go in, rebound Blaylock. And the Spartans, quick pass over the top. He's got Jones. Jones going to have to slow it down, though, as Dial was right there step for step with him. Lloyd, pass up top. Bowles over to Dugan. Back to Bowles. Bowles for three on the left hand. Not going to make it in. Rebound Dial. And Dial, quick pass over to Key. Key, Weinheimer for three. And Weinheimer sinks the three-pointer, a much-needed three to extend this lead to 10 for the Highlanders with three minutes now left in the second half. Play lock over to Jones. Jones getting over to Lloyd. Lloyd making a nice first step. Key getting ahead in there. He blocks it. Blaylock comes away with it, though. Blaylock pass to Dugan. Dugan able to recover as he almost loses it. That's outside. He's got Lloyd. Lloyd taking a step back. Not going to shoot it though. Gives it to Dugan. Dugan in the paint. Spin move. Shot off the rim. Rebound. Weinheimer and the Highlanders as Dugan's right behind him. Weinheimer pass up top to Key. Nope. That was going to get tipped by Bowles. Key able to recover, but Dugan with the steal. And Dugan. And let's see. He tossed it off. He did a good job. It's going to be Dean Jones as he dove in midair. Threw that one back in. Oh, they're going to say Jones touched it less, though. Highlanders with possession now. Weinheimer. That pass is tipped and stolen. And Dugan with a shot. And Dugan makes it quick as he was trying to get it over to Cooper Johnson. And as they're going to say Key stepped out of bounds here on the right-hand side, it looks like. As you hear Coach Moore telling the, the team, take it easy, take a breather, calm down, take your time, make smart moves. Dugan into Blaylock with 152 now left. Highlanders with an eight-point lead. Dugan up to Blaylock. Blaylock, quick step, shooting a deep two-point off the rim. Rebound, Spartans. Lloyd with the rebound. Lloyd tossing it up. Doesn't get the roll. He needs Key with the rebound and Key with some nice defense there as well. That pass is ooh, complete to Weinheimer. That one, though, doesn't get to Johnson like it needs. High, uh, excuse me, Highlanders. Spartans come away with the steal. And tossing that one up is going to be Bowles, but he was able to draw the foul. I didn't quite see who the foul was on, but Bowles will head to the charity line. 
He'll be shooting two with 118 now left in the game. First one doesn't get the roll he needs. Graham Bowles will get one more, though. As Key makes his way off for the Highlanders, Vandergriff makes his way on. Spartans looking to make some substitutions as well. As that one goes up off the right-hand side, Dugan able to get the rebound, but they're going to say he stepped out of bounds. They're going to say it went off of a Highlander out of bounds. I didn't see that one. But mass substitutions made for the Spartans now. As four make their way off, four make their way on. Dugan looking for some help. Pass up top is going to be tipped and stolen by Johnson. He gets it over quick to Vandergriff. Vandergriff for the layup for the Highlanders. And his timeout is going to be called by the Highlanders with 109 left and a 10 point lead. That long timeout wraps up. Spartans with possession here. Matson over the Dugan. Dugan back to Matson. Matson top of the arc. Screen set up, taking the shot off the rim. Rebound Weinheimer. And under a minute now, 58 seconds. Weinheimer with it. Dugan in coverage, trying to get around him, and he does. Weinheimer able to avoid the 10 second violation. Hard pass inside to Delisi is complete. And they're going to call that one on Matson. He got his hands around Delisi. David Delisi, though, heading to the charity line, shooting a one and one. Sinks the first one. Dugan and Baldwin. Under the net here for the Spartans. And the second one off the rim. Nice box out by Dugan. He's able to recover that one for the Spartans. 45 seconds left. Dugan making his way up. Dugan, quick pass. Sahili, Sahili up top. Lee looking for some help. Back to Sahili. Sahili on the ground making the pass over to Baldwin. Baldwin dumps it off to Lee. Lee taking the big shot. A little too short, though. Out of bounds it goes. And Highlanders with possession with 25 seconds left. Quick pass to Dial. He dumps over to Delisi. Delisi in the paint for the layup. Doesn't go in. Dugan with the rebound. And Dugan trying to flip the court quick. 15 seconds left. Dugan going up for the layup. Doesn't go in. Rebound Dial. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Dial 5. Dial with the layup. It's going to be blocked by Baldwin, Dugan with the recovery, and time doesn't get this shot off in time before the buzzer, and that is going to do it. Your final here with game number three, Highlanders 45, Spartans 34. Alrighty, folks. Well, that's going to do it for me here at Nazarro Hall. We hope you enjoyed this afternoon's triple header broadcast as the Highlanders and Spartans 
Got some pretty good basketball games here these past couple days. Be sure to tune in tomorrow as the St. Andrews girls lacrosse team will be looking to take the field, weather permitting, of course. Scheduled at 5 o'clock, and you can catch that here live on the Vibe Network. Until then, folks, thanks for tuning in. Have a great night. You're listening to Highlander and Spartan Basketball, all on Vibe Live. <laughs>